Welcome back to my channel, Lindsay Tries It, where I, Lindsay, have set out on this adventure to try and push myself um, to get out of that comfort zone. For a long time, I've let some of my fears and anxieties really rule what I can and cannot do. So this, it's, it ends now, it ends now. So today's topic is makeup which I'm sure for a lot of people is the opposite of scary. It's exciting, it's a way to express yourself, um, and I totally agree with those points as well, except it's always been one of those things that I've been interested in, but had this feeling that it, it wasn't for me. It was, it was for other people, it was for people that looked different than I did, and you know I would never be able to accomplish any of those looks that I see on YouTube, so why even bother? So, because I'm trying this new thing where I say enough, I'm not gonna let that fear stop me from doing what I need to do, I'm gonna try and do a full look today. So I know I'm not, I'm not skipping out on anything here. I'm doing the full foundation and primer and contouring. I even, I even bought fake eyelashes and I can't tell you if I've ever worn these before in my life, but I've seen enough videos. I thought it was at least worth a try. Something to remember too, anxiety kind of works different for everyone. The things that provoke my anxiety won't necessarily be the same for other people. The more you let it stop you from actually doing the things you want to do, the easier it becomes to avoid those things. Makeup has always been one of those things that I enjoy. I, I think it's beautiful. I'm so impressed by people who have the talent to do it. Um, but it's been something that kind of scares me. So I've stuck to pretty much the same routine my my whole adult life, which is like mascara and go. So nothing else. Um, and I think I've always wanted to experiment more with makeup. It's not necessarily just wearing more makeup. It's expressing myself in a different way or, you know, maybe calling a little more attention to my face where I tried to hide it before. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to try my best to remember the tips that I've learned over the past years of YouTube videos that I've watched and we are going to give it a shot. So without further ado, we're going to feel the fear and do it anyway today. That's a great saying that someone once told me. Feel the fear and do it anyway and I think it's such a great way to attack different situations. So we're going to start off with um, a primer and I'm just sort of going to go from there. I might stop in between, check in, um, I'll let you know how it's going, but stay tuned. We'll see what happens. I swear, half of these products I see in YouTube videos and then I'm like, yeah, that I could do that. That could be me. Makeup for me was always one of those things. It's like, I always felt that if I tried and did it and it, it didn't turn out right, that it would, it would say a lot about me, right? It's like, oh my God, you know, can't even wear makeup. Makeup doesn't even help. Um, but that's something that I'm really starting to challenge. More like, you know, if, if what I try doesn't work today, it doesn't mean that um, I should never wear makeup again or I won't ever try this again. It just sort of means that maybe what I did today didn't work and that's okay. It doesn't say anything about me as a person. They say, if you never try, you never know. Oh my God. So like, I, I don't know, do these things expire? So I, th I think I'm done. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. It definitely took more time than my usual routine, but my usual routine consists of like one or two steps. After doing this, my verdict is, I kind of like it. It's, it's definitely different. I don't think I could wear it every day and be super comfortable, but I at least now know like, that I have some sort of skill set or that it doesn't look terrible. The eyelashes were pretty are pretty fun. I think it's the the lip color that's throwing me off a little bit. But I don't hate it. And you know, next time um maybe I'm going out or there's a special event going on, I think I'm going to 
you know, give this another shot and try. It definitely wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. I mean, if I made a mistake, you know, you get a Q-tip, you get a wipe or whatever and, and clean it up and move on. That wraps up today's Lindsay Tries It. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. See what I will try next. God, I don't know how, why do I choose to say those things?